Yes, now praise the Lord. Now, three reasons why God isolates you. Three reasons why God isolates you. Now, isolation forces us to depend on God in more radical and extreme ways that we might not be able to comprehend. You understand? And it also encourages us to increase our faith in God, in God's ways over our own. You understand? But one thing you must understand also is that you need to know that during these isolation times, during, during this isolation period, this is the period and times whereby God holds us closest to his heart, you understand, and provides some of the greatest potential for our spiritual growth. One of the reasons why God isolates you is because he wants your primary focus to be on him. One of the reasons why God isolates you is because he wants your primary focus to be on him. Now you need to understand that God is a jealous God and when he loves us, he loves his children and whenever he loves you, he feels bad when he notices that your attention is no more on him. Just like a lover who feels or notices that uh, his or, 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 or his, his or her lover's attention is no more directed towards him or her. You understand? So that is how God is. His God has feelings. You understand? And whenever he feels that you as his child, your attention is no more on him, he gets he gets sad, he gets jealous. So what he does is that he creates events that isolates you so that your attention will be drawn back to him. Maybe in the course of your life, you've actually slipped up slipped off from the way you used to be maybe you are a you are a believer that actually prays you understand you are a believer that actually carries out his instructions but in the course of some time you've actually derailed from that part so he becomes sad he becomes jealous that why will you be doing such a thing so in for him to save you from this destruction he isolates you he raises up events that isolates you so that you have nowhere to go or nowhere to look than to go to him and look up to him so in this this way he isolates you so that your attention will be drawn back to him then he will now show you what to do next you understand now number two reasons why God isolates you is because he's trying to align your heart you understand maybe in the course of your 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 activities in life your heart is no more on the things on his things that he normally yearns for to be carried out in the world maybe you are a prophet or you're a pastor or you are a doctor that actually saves souls through his name you understand or maybe you were being used as a good vessel to carry out his work that means your heart your maybe you are one that your heart actually beats for his work for his uh, for his kingdom but you're no more doing that you understand so he gets sad again so he actually isolates you so that you come back to your senses and realign your heart with him you realign your heart with his works you understand by so doing you now start seeking his instructions you now start seeking what he wants you to do you understand and in that isolation isolation period that is when he comes to meet you you understand even when you feel that nothing is working for you everything is falling apart and you are being isolated no friends coming to you nothing nothing is working anymore in that isolation period that is when god comes with he will definitely come to you he will come to you and he will tell you what he wants to tell you you understand he will tell you he will encourage you and he will actually realign your heart back to him because at that particular time point in time you don't know what to do and you are open to anything you understand so by the time he knows that you're at that state he will come to you and encourage you re-advise you on what to do and realign your heart to him to for you to start working for him and it shall be well with you in the mighty name of jesus now the third and the last uh, uh reason why god chooses to isolate you might be that he wants to use you for mighty works he wants to use you for the world to know his glory and power once again you understand now one of the ways he does this is by isolating you and when god chooses you whether you are a drunkard whether you're a womanizer whether you're a murderer whether you're a thief an arm robber when god's eyes start when god's eyes upon you and he wants to use you for his work he isolates you and by the time he isolates you he start working on you you understand he starts cutting off those evil things those bad things that have made you up to that process in time now he start he start he start working on those things and by the time you before you know it you start turning a new leaf you understand because we all know that god uses unexpected people to unexpected people to show his glory to the world now if he has chosen you 
and you feel you are not worth it and you feel you are and at that period of your isolation time you feel you are not worth it don't worry the lord will come and meet you he will encourage you and he will tell you what to do and what and on the next step to take especially when you have been called and you've been refusing to accept this call yes a time will come whereby he will isolate you to the extent whereby you will actually have no choice than to answer his call just like jonah you understand now by the time he isolates you don't be don't 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 don't, don't, don't feel don't be weary because he will actually lead you on what and what to do praise the lord now if god has you in the period of isolation you could take heart because god could be preparing you for something very specific that only you can do you understand now in conclusion the seasons of isolations are extraordinary opportunities you understand they are extraordinary opportunities for you to grow with god in that period you understand and they are transition periods into the next phase and promise of god so you have to actually make good use of this isolation period and know within you that god is actually preparing you to use you for his glory and for you to be to be a, to be a new person in life for you to be a new person that will make heaven and enjoy all the benefits that come with working with him and it shall be well with you and one of those benefits is having an eternal life with him in heaven you understand it is well with you so lord my name is Chuka okonye and if this is your first time of visiting my channel can you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button to receive a notification whenever i drop videos on spirituality tips and dream interpretation if you're an old member the lord bless you the lord enlarge your course it is well with you in the mighty name of jesus thank you once again for visiting my channel see you in the next video bye for now